On Monday the 15th of October, a big red bus parked itself in Albert Square. McFly decided to investigate. I'm Liam Purcell, I work for Church Action on Poverty, and we're here in Manchester on the penultimate date of the Tax Justice Bus Tour, which we've done in partnership with Christian Aid, and we've been travelling around the whole country. We're asking people to sign a petition calling on David Cameron to take action to tackle tax havens, tax havens being the key structure that enables people to avoid paying their taxes. And there are simple things that we can do using our leadership of the G20. So we're calling on David Cameron to do that. We're asking people to sign the petition. And we're also aiming to build momentum, get more and more people talking about this issue and seeing that tax dodging is immoral and hurts people in poverty. Inside the bus, we caught up with someone else. My name's Alistair Roxburgh, I'm Christian Aid's Campaigns Manager and I'm aboard the Tax Justice Bus which is on its 53rd and final day here in Manchester as it concludes. Uh, the Tax Bus has been travelling around the country taking message of Tax Justice which is all about getting uh, companies who are dodging paying their taxes around the world to, to pay up, to, to pay their fair share and that means being more transparent in their finances. At the moment, we estimate that uh, poor countries lose up to $160 billion each year due to tax dodging. This is much more than the global aid budget, and it's money that could be spent on a whole range of things. So whether that be uh, essential services, schools, hospitals, or increasingly is the climate change and climate change impacts on poor countries on projects that help mitigate the effects of climate change and allow for adaptation as well. If you want to know more, here are some websites. Thanks for watching.